This video we're going to cover how Hidden Nodes module is able to uh, go about hiding content uh, by working with the node access system. So you can get this on Drupal.org at Drupal.org slash project slash Hidden Nodes. And the reason for this project is that a lot of times you have people working on content outlines. Um, and this is specific to Elms, obviously. but So you have people working on content outlines, but that's the only method they have for actually getting to the material. Um, and publish unpublished status is a bit too harsh in the way that it handles things because uh, core menuing systems actually remove it regardless of role. So even user one wouldn't be able to see it if it's marked unpublished in a menu. Um, that's a little fun fact that's in Drupal 6 and I consider a glitch, quite honestly, uh, even though it's in Drupal 7 as well. So it's a security thing, uh, but so this is to try and make that process work a little better by having a different checkbox. So. This is basically the way the node access grants thing works. It boils down to two functions that you have to hook into. There's two sides of this. Basically, you have your nodes, and whenever some, you know, whenever a user goes to it, it's going to look in a particular table, uh, this node access records table, and it's going to see if it finds anything. So, NID is here now. 245 in this case is something that I have marked hidden in this one test system. So I pulled that up in the background. Um, what Drupal's doing here, and you can see, you know, using the hidden notes module, you can see, hey, this is hidden, it can't be seen. Um, and then we can go and edit this and unhide it. Um, what's happening here is Drupal is looking for a record. So it basically is making the assumption that if it doesn't find a node access grants thing, then it's past node access. So this is basically to limit somebody's ability to view something. Uh, so if that record wasn't there, then everyone would have access to the content. You'll see with hidden nodes, I have this little checkbox. Hey, would you like to hide this content? It's a brief description. And then when I save this, this is going to effectively you know, publish, unpublish a node without using the publishing status. So more aligned with what people traditionally think of publish and unpublish. So because I edited that value, refresh here, you know, search for 245. And you'll see we don't get a hidden nodes record, we actually get organic groups records because this is in organic groups. Uh, a lot of people complain about the fact that you know node grants can conflict with each other. Um, so let's break that down as to how that works. So basically this is gonna generate that row. So on save, it's, it's gonna process this function. Um, if the node has been marked hidden, then add this grant. And so the, breaking the grant down, you, know, you see, hey, this is by hidden nodes. Uh, GID you can use with things like user ID, so I could actually hard code this. I don't know why you do this, but so you can do like one, two, three, four, five, and then up here you could actually have a nested style of uh, grant issuing. So you know, add a bunch of values together. You can get in some pretty crazy stuff, but there's really no reason to do it from what I've seen, unless you're doing a user roles type of a grant. Um, but then you'd use permissions anyway, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so. Uh, you can see we have grant view, update, and delete privileges. So these are the three pri privileges that you can get. Um, I could you know, say that, okay, well you can view and update if you pass the check above. So I'm not gonna do that for this. Um, so one or zero, that's whether you get that. Priority is really important. Whatever has the highest priority is the thing that Drupal will process. So even though um, organic groups comes in and organic groups has a very complex you know, type of processing system uh, where it'll actually generate three node access records, um, its priority is zero. So by making my priority a thousand, Drupal is going to respect whatever the highest, this is like the only case of waiting where highest is better, it will respect the highest priority item. So this is basically saying hidden nodes is acting the way publish and publish would and saying, hey, I'm the most important thing ignore whatever other ways people could view content. So to actually grant someone access, so if you imagine the node is about to be viewed, this page is about to load here, uh, what happens then is it goes into this process and it says, hey, the current account viewing, what's happening? Okay, we're viewing a node. Make sure that we're viewing a node and that the user has this, this permission that I gave. If they have those two things, then you know, add this grant array value one, and then what Drupal does is it will check and go, okay, hey, I got this array value one, I checked the database and I saw GID equals one, one and one, so I know that this person should be allowed to view the node. 